Welcome to yet another Adobe Monday. My goal here is to go straight to the point without wasting your time every single week. This is part 2 of this series and today we will learn how to effectively watermark your photos in Adobe Illustrator. Are you ready? If you have a logo with colors and text, remove the text and turn it into a solid black or white version. And of course, use your own logo. Make sure your logo is a group and then go to Window, Swatches and drag your logo into them. This allows us to use the logo the same way we use fill colors. But as you can see, that doesn't look great yet. Double click on the swatch we just made and this menu will pop up. White and height basically changes the amount of space between logos and changing the tile type will change the way your logos are tiled up, obviously. Hex Barrow looks the best in my opinion, so I'll choose that. When you're happy with the way it looks, just close the window and your swatch is updated. You can scale this shape as much as you want and logos won't get bigger, but there will be more of them automatically. That's the charm of this method. With this shape selected, click on New Swatch in Swatch window, which will actually duplicate the swatch we have. Now double click on it and change the color of the logo to black and just like that we have the black version of it as well. Now just get the picture into Illustrator, draw a square over it and select our logo pattern as a fill. If your logo is cut out weirdly in the corners, you can move the whole thing around and rearrange it. Drop the opacity of the logos, I like to keep mine at 5%. You can go to swatches and switch between black and white version to see which looks better on the exact photo you're working on. That's it, your photos are safe. And here it is! That was fast, right? All I'm asking you is to like the video and subscribe. There will be more videos like that every single week. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.